Hey everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys very quickly about soybeans and growing them for edamame. You can see here is one plant of soybeans, and this is a really incredible, actually this is two, my bad, but this is a really incredible variety, guys. This is a variety called Midori Giant that I just picked up for the first time this year, um, and I'm blown away. The production on this variety is insane. I mean, look at that. It's just covered head to top. I mean, look at that. That's just, it's just crazy. And it's all of them. They're all like this. So first off, this is a really productive variety of soybean um, that I think is worth picking up. And I've had other varieties that just are not the same. Um, I've had another variety called Soybean Envy and I guess because I'm planting them maybe a bit too close, maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe they're in a better location, but I think that variety just, in my mind, is king. I'm going to show you guys a couple more plants right now. In this section of the yard, we've actually harvested quite a bit from them, so they don't look too great compared to the ones we just looked at. But the reason I want to show you these now is because pretty soon there's not going to be many soybeans left on these plants because I've been making them into edamame. And this is where my, my soybean envy was planted. So you can kind of tell the difference. It's a bit of a shadier location. Um, some of them here are the Midori Giant. I think this is the Midori Giant. You can kind of tell by the leaves. They actually look uh, like they have a different leaf. They seem to be actually slightly taller, sturdier plants. I think this is another one right here of the Midori Giant, if I'm not mistaken. So the reason, again, like I'm doing this now is because we're gonna be harvesting these for edamame and it's really simple to make. Like edamame is such an amazing treat and that's why I grow these. You can't really eat them fresh, guys. You need to process them in some way. I've tried in prior years to actually roast them and dry them and then season them and they didn't really come out that well. I like dry roasted edamame. But also I think if you just cook them like this, you blanch them first uh, or blanch them for about five minutes, add in some salt, some pepper. They come out so good that uh, it's just really an unrivaled snack here in my yard. So definitely consider growing them for that. If you like edamame, it's so simple. You put a bean in the ground, the thing grows, and then you get edamame probably about, about three months later, two and a half, three months later, and uh, you can harvest these things. Pretty much I've gotten, I think, about six or seven harvests of edamame that's really filling uh, last year. So if you have really not even that much space, because if the plants over there that I showed you before, the Midori Giant, if they're doing that well, you don't really need a whole lot of space. I and mean, for one person, even for two people, I could do, the amount that I've been eating is really for two people, um, like six or seven times a year. And it really isn't all that much space that these plants are taking up. So, I don't know, I just highly recommend this crop. It's something we don't normally talk about, you know, between Things like the fruit trees, right? The peaches, the the grapes, you know, the apples and things like that, and the figs. We don't really talk a lot about select things, and I think this one is really important because um, I think this is, without a doubt, one that I will always grow, probably no matter what. So, anyway, guys, that is this video on the soybeans. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it too. I really do. So, we'll see you all soon. And uh, yeah, catch you for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone.